this is a circuit we have been given and we are asked whether this is a valid arrangement this is number one question and if it is valid then what is the current uh, through any every element and voltage across each of the elements so first of all this one is a valid because valid uh, circuit arrangement because we can see that we don't see what what will be invalid is two volt different value voltage sources connected in parallel that will be an invalid connection it can't happen two same voltage source is fine but if they are different they cannot be connected in parallel because the definition of the voltage sources each voltage source will uh, hold the constant its value across its terminal so if we have like 5 volt here and 10 volt here it's not possible there will be uh, this one will try to hold 10 volt and this one will try to hold 5 volt it's not possible so there there will have to be an internal resistance so that it balances out it so anyway that's there and when it comes to current source otherwise any connection even if they were equal it's fine and the other thing is a current source two current sources two different value current sources can it cannot be connected in series because current source any current source try to maintain uh, its value so if we have two different current sources connected uh, difference means the direction as well as value for same for the voltage source as well though so two different uh, current sources connected in in series will not happen because uh, what what will be the current this one or that one so that won't be possible so there uh, will have to be a parallel path somewhere in between so anyway so that case is not arising here so this one is fine so I will try to find the I will just try to identify the currents and voltages across each of the elements so what I first notice is this is uh, 100 volt here so this voltage is also 100 volts the voltage across the current source 10 ampere current source and this current is 10 ampere here and here we have a 5 ampere current source so the current through this branch is 5, 5 ampere as well so this one's current is 5 ampere and here we have a node 10 ampere entering 5 ampere entering so this one will be 15 ampere applying KCL we can find that the current through this this branch will be downwards and 15 ampere and what is the voltage here we just apply KVL here and we can see that if we call the voltage here let's say V we can see V uh, if we go from here uh, counterclockwise we can see V here then a negative 40 because that's a drop there and we have another drop which is negative 100 so that's 0 is equal to 0 so basically I am writing the rise as positive and the drops as negative and then summing up to get uh, summing them up basically so this is a rise here going this way and then drop a drop so V will be 140 volts um, 140 volts across the 5 ampere current source so these are the currents and voltages uh, across each of the elements so I think I have got I've covered uh, all of them yeah I guess so.